Well, Sigma has done it again and launched another fantastic lens. So it's time to lace up my boots, pack up some gear, and get it out into the field to see just what it's all about. This is Sigma Ambassador Liam Duran with a first look at Sigma's latest wide-angle prime lens. I'll be taking the brand new 24mm f1.4 DGDN art lens into the field and put it through the paces photographing action sports, landscapes, and even some low light and astrophotography. Okay, so Sigma has had a 24 f1.4 art lens in the lineup for quite some time, uh, but that was made for, for uh, DSLR cameras, and this one is specifically made for mirrorless cameras, and you know that by its DGDN designation. Okay, before we go any further, I do want to introduce, off in the uh, distance here is my new dog, Doc. So if you hear a bark or see a little white tan flash in the background, don't worry about it. That's just him kind of cruising around in the beaver pond here. Um, but again, I did want to go through uh, the, some of the features of the lens today, and uh, let's kind of just dive in now and start taking a look. The Sigma 24mm f1.4 DGDN Art is designed from the ground up for full frame mirrorless. It's smaller, lighter, and the optics are even better than its predecessor. It has a manual aperture ring that can be declicked for video work and other handy features like a programmable AFL button and a new manual focus lock switch so you can set your focus and know it won't change even if you accidentally move the focus ring. Ideal for time lapse and super long exposures. If you use filters, this lens features a 72 mm thread up front and a rear filter holder as well. And of course, this lens features dust and splash resistant construction, perfect for an outdoor photographer like myself. Okay, so what have I shot with the new 2414 so far? Um, well, as you'd expect, I've shot a fair amount of landscape with it, but I've also shot some action sports, which was really fun. We got it out on a couple mountain bike shoots. And while I don't really consider myself much of an astrophotographer, I did get it out for the full moon a few nights ago and got a couple really cool shots with that. So let's jump in and take a look at those photos now. Okay, here's some image samples from a few real world shooting situations. Uh, let's start with mountain biking. One of the most important characteristics for a lens to have when shooting fast moving subjects is a quick and accurate autofocus. How did it do? Fantastic. The lens locked onto my subjects and tracked them perfectly. I also shot directly into the sun quite a bit to see how it would do. Flare and ghosting were well controlled and images looked sharp and contrasty. All in all, the 2414 would be a good lens choice for the adventure sports photographer. One of the premium subjects for a wide prime like the 2414 to shoot is undoubtedly going to be landscapes. With extreme sharpness corner to corner and stunning color rendition, this lens really shines in the natural world. And speaking of shining, Sunstars look absolutely fantastic through the 24 f1.4 lens. I had the 24 f1.4 art lens during peak wildflower season here in Colorado. So I got low, opened up the aperture, and got some great shots of Colorado showing off its colors. The fast f1.4 aperture just begs to be shot in low light situations. And while I don't often shoot at night, I did get out to an ancient bristlecone forest during the full moon and came away with some really unique shots. So who's the 2414 gonna be for? Well, 
Um, honestly, anyone that can use a wide angle, very fast prime lens. So in my mind, I'm thinking wedding photographers, concert photographers, uh, landscape shooters are gonna like it, astrophotographers. Um, I think all of those genres can really benefit uh, from the speed and quality of this lens. All right, well, thanks so much for watching this first look video. Uh, for a full list of all tech specs and every feature, be sure to visit the Sigma Photo website today. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope to see you out there.